Micah Parsons is keeping the Cowboys in the news, fellas. He had quite the weekend at the NBA All-Star Game. As we just mentioned, he was MVP in the Celebrity Game. We're going to have highlights of that coming up. He also joined Stephen A. on his show, responding to Demarcus Loris's comments that the Cowboys were tired in that postseason loss to the Packers. You should never go into a game like I'm tired, like I'm ready, like I'm ready to go home. Because that's what's exactly going to happen, and it did happen. I'm coming to the game every week like, man, I got four more weeks left. I don't know what y'all got, but I got four more weeks left. Like, that's part of the culture and identity that I just feel like we're missing. Like, that, I would like, that's just something like I don't agree with at all. Like, regular season, all right, yeah, I'm tired. Like, I'm wore out. But as soon as playoffs hit, knowing how limited and how hard it is to win in playoff game, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, I would never say I'm tired or I, I feel fatigued because that's my job to not feel that way. Acho, let's start with you. What do you think about what Micah had to say? Well, he's talking about culture. I think Michael Parsons is coming from a place at Penn State where he used to win a lot, he used to be the best player on the field. Now he's in the NFL, still oftentimes the best player on the field, winning in the regular season, but playoff comes and all of a sudden you hear conversations like, man, we were tired, or man, maybe we got out schemed, or for whatever reason we didn't come prepared. But Michael Parsons is if not the leader, one of the leaders on this team. And so part of what being a great leader is, people call it level five leadership, it's not just leading yourself. It's not just you being the best. It's you having other guys around you, bringing them up to your level as well, right? Talking about penalties and accountability. Michael Parsons was one of the most penalized guys on the Cowboys. Tied for fourth penal most penalized on the team, right? Okay, Sam Williams, another defensive end, another penalized guy. Bring him under your wing. Help him become a better leader, not just in the regular season, but also get with him in the offseason. I got a chance to see Patrick Mahomes in the offseason working out with guys like Sky Moore, other guys on his team, other players, you know, backup quarterbacks. Like, they're all together. And so, yes, Michael Parsons is an elite talent and an elite leader, but the best leaders not just lead themselves. You have to find ways to motivate others. Going back to Mahomes again to that comment that he made I think it was early in the season there was an overthrown pass I believe it was to Marquez Valdez Scantling and it wasn't even overthrown it was actually a perfect pass but Mahomes said man I could have put it a little bit shorter and fast forward what does that do that boosts the confidence of your teammates that shows accountability for you and all of a sudden they have to get to your level and so for me I think the change that Michael Parsons wants to see it has to start with him and not just him alone him bringing other guys alongside with him to bring them up to his level that's, that's an outstanding uh, advertisement for your book that you got behind you over your right shoulder there, Sacho. Change starts with you. <laughs> You're talking to Micah Parsons. I think that's fantastic synergy uh, here on the program. But I agree completely. I'm listening to Micah Parsons talk, and I'm thinking, why is he saying this to Stephen A. Smith? I mean, good for Stephen A., you know, good content for his, his podcast and all, but it feels like if Micah Parsons feels this way, he needs to find a way not just to say it, but to deliver it effectively in his own locker room, right? So at 24 years old, he's an elite player. He's done things in his first three years in the league that, that are beyond what, what a lot of people do in their whole careers. He doesn't really need to improve as a player, although, you know, everybody's always working to do that. It seems like if Micah Parsons want to help, wants to help elevate the Cowboys, this is the arena in which there's room for him to operate and room for him to grow. So I absolutely agree with, uh, with Sacho there that, you know, there, there, if there is a leadership vacuum in the Cowboys locker room and from the outside it sometimes appears as if there might be, then Micah Parsons, certainly because of the kind of player he is, has the capacity and, and the juice, if you will, to, to go in and fill that. And, uh, and I think that would be a, a wise move at this point. You know, Hannah, I agree with what uh, both Graz and Sam said, which is the most effective type of leadership is player-led leadership. The best teams I was on, player-led leadership, like the Bart Scotts of the world, they solve problems. And that's exactly what the Cowboys need. They need player-led leadership to solve problems, and they need some force multipliers Get guys there for the off-season program. Stay longer in the facility. And I'll give you two names, Hannah. Someone like a Bobby Wagner or a Levante David. They need a middle linebacker, assuming that Leighton Vanderish won't be back, who could be a single caller but also a leader. Because this team has plenty of talent, but year in and year out, we see them fall short at consequential times. And hopefully these intangibles, where they can improve upon, will get them to where they want to go. Yeah, leading by example, actually the most powerful uh, stop in that talk and uh, getting it done. Maybe they need some help in that regard.